Okay. Okay. I got some gear oil. This is 140 weight. So that'll work okay in it. It's just the 90 weight, 140 weight. That has to do with how thick it is. 140 weight is a little bit thicker, but that's okay in something like this to run a little bit thicker. This is the gear oil here. These things have a top on them that you can cut off. This one hasn't been cut off yet, but I've got one that has. So I usually try to keep the top. This one here is on a bottle of transmission fluid. This one, the top of it's cut off. That's how you get oil into stuff. And this is going to be a little bit messy. I can wipe this thing off good because i got to try to get the tip of this stuck down in the hole where the plug goes. And the way this works, I'll probably fill a few drops. Take this and put it, uh, put it on there. Plug back out. Lay it on the paper towel. I'm going to have to take my finger. I'm going to squeeze just a little bit of air out of this. I'm going to take my finger. And I'm going to put over this hole. Try to get it up here. Squeeze a little bit of oil in it. If I do it right, it looks like I managed to get some in it without spilling any yet. Check it again. See. It looks like it's up on the dipstick. It didn't take much. I didn't figure it'd take a whole lot. It don't hold much, so when it's low, it shouldn't take much to fill it up. Screw this in, screw it back out again, and check it. Make sure we got some showing on our dipstick. And it's up on the full mark. So that's good. It didn't take but a couple ounces. that is done. You can pause that. And I think we are probably 